Welcome back, everybody. Oh, they say you gotta jump around on camera. That's how they, they, they get the views is they jump and they bounce. I'm not, not that type of guy. We're still in the bathroom. Are we ever gonna come out of this bathroom? Of course, of course we're coming out of the bathroom. Then we're going in the closet. Uh, shower is 100% done. I've dumped uh, 20, 25 gallons of water with five gallon buckets down the drain of the shower. But more importantly of testing out the slope and all that other stuff is the pump. The pump's been running flawlessly. Uh, of course I did test the pump before we even put the tile in when it was just red guarded and had that fancy orange wallpaper all over the place. Today I'm gonna to start on the floor tile. I'm gonna put a different type of orange membrane on the floor before we put the tile down. I forgot to tell you, this is the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. She's dying, dying to get up there. Okay, up you go. <laughs> Jeez. I wanted to jump in real quick and show you the difference between a sh the Schluter membrane and what I put on the floor. Just tell you what it is and what the job for this is that I put on the floor. It uh, just separates the tile from whatever's underneath it, whether it's concrete, OSB, plywood, subfloor, and makes it so it doesn't crack. Uh, there's a, a big difference in between the thickness and that's that's the reason I even found this material is I was trying to find something that was different than Schluter Dietra. Schluter Dietra is pretty thick and if you're trying to match a hallway, <laughs> those aren't for you, those are for a different video. <laughs> if you're trying to match say a hallway existing floor, might be hardwood floor and you're trying to build up the bathroom floor so it's a perfect even transition there are options well, this stuff 
is very thin, but it's nowhere near as thin as a Schluter membrane. This is almost like, like a paper thin. This feels like you're holding a heavy piece of rubber. There's no way you could ever rip it. There's no way you could trowel this with, with anything and, and cut through it. This here, this is different. This is much more f fragile. This is my backbone model here. All right, I don't think anybody cares about my backbone, do they? Back to the video. Doing the final paint touch-ups. Well, wall touch-ups and paint touch-ups. Level five. Level five drywall. Smooth walls. That's another common thing in these older houses is they have smooth walls in the kitchens and bathrooms. Even though they got the texture out in the living areas and bedrooms and stuff. So I just did another little skim coat in this area where I had some rough sanding marks. Not worrying too much around this collar tie because that's gonna get a gonna get wrapped here. I don't know when but it is. <clears throat> so I'm gonna complete the, the interior paint. Uh, like I said everything's caulked in do some touch-ups with the primer and then semi-gloss white on the ceiling and then the same bare dynasty paint that's out there is going on the walls in here Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Tile installation and the threshold is going in the next video. If you got any questions, put those down in the comments section. I'll be sure to answer them. What am I doing here? What am I saying? Stop saying anything. What are you saying? What do you want to do?
You want to go to the store? Caulk gun hats, t-shirts, coffee mugs, still on sale. Goodbye.